Hello viewers, welcome back to Echo Drive. We have with us Mohal Lalbai, the founder and CEO of Matter. Mohal, thank, thank you. you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Big day for you. Yes. Aerothon is starting today. Yes, it is. Please yes. give us more details about the ride, how the plan happened and what you want to achieve with the ride. So, for us, uh, I mean, you, you, we, we've spoken quite a few times yeah. on the motorcycle, uh, the era and um, at the end of the day for us, it's all about um, India and the people and really giving real viable options in terms of electric motorcycles. And the Aerothon for us is a journey over 25,000 kilometers across 25 states and it, it's not your main roads, it, it's the back alleys, it, it's uh, the uncharted places just to kind of show India what it is on the yeah. inside. I mean, I mean that, that's what the videos are going to be doing. But also really bring awareness and conversation about electrification even to the hinterlands of the country because for us, um, electrification is inevitable. Okay. Um, you know, with us, I mean, we're importing so much oil and pollution and the 2070 targets for going green. Electric is inevitable and the sooner we move to it, the better it's going to be and that's really the overall idea behind Aerothon and getting a journey going across the country. And uh, moving on to the sales aspect, the first dealership is yes. inaugurating on October 11th. It's if opening I'm on the October, 11th of October. 11th of October. Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad. So, again, it took a lot of time for the brand to go into the sales because the booking started, the product was launched, yeah. but finally it's here. I just wanted to brush like what kind of caused the delay for the product because it took some time. So again, uh, well, for we are who we are and we can be flawed for this is we kind of strive for a lot of perfection and really getting that last nuts and bolts in, ensuring everything's in the right place. <clears throat> and again, we didn't want to start uh, production with something which was trickling in. Okay. We wanted to really be at a stage where once we start delivering, we are able to immediately ramp up. So with that view, I think we are again targeting close to about uh, 50,000 vehicles being delivered by mid next year. Okay. So that's the kind of push we want to be ready with so that, uh, you know, customers don't want to wait. In terms of bookings, you had got, I think, 40,000? Uh, yeah, just about 40,000. But have they held on to the bookings and because the timeline from that time so period to till now, it's been... Again, uh, quite a few of the bookings have been held and uh, one of the reasons is that uh, at, at some point uh, we didn't feel right in holding on to um, customer bookings from a monetary perspective. So we returned those, held the bookings and those are the first people who are actually being invited to come in and uh, have the experience, the test drives and from there we are going on and closing the processes for people. Okay, and uh, in terms of dealership expansion, first is Ahmedabad. And first is Ahmedabad. Okay, and then we are moving from Gujarat towards the south. So Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu. These are going to be in the immediate expansion phase. So let's call it this financial year. We'll be present in about fifty odd locations. Fifty dealerships. Fifty, 50 dealerships is by uh, by end of this financial end year. of this financial year. Okay, be present. and let's come back to the motorcycle. Uh, Again, a geared electric motorcycle yep. that has been a lot of uh, conversations around it. Yeah. What was the idea behind it? What was the thought? Can you just give us some idea for our viewers? Uh, uh, again, um, talking about a geared electric motorcycle, talking about the liquid cooling or talking even about the simplicity of the 5 amp yeah. bedside socket charging. It all comes down to making the experience as familiar and as comfortable to the rider as we can while still giving the benefits of an electric. I mean, max torque at one RPM. Yeah. I mean, you, you've experienced it yourself. The thrill of really riding the pleasure while still being very, very light on the pocket. In terms of the whole uh, government subsidies, that's a big question happening yeah. right now. You think uh, EVs have a future without subsidies going forward because there is something for the two wheelers but it has reduced compared to fame two. Oh yes it has and I, I think um, overall and, and I've said this multiple times um, what the government is doing is it's providing a crutch uh, or a rather a, a support to the industry till an inflection point. Uh, had the two years of the pandemic not really shaken up the market uh, we would have been there today but that's the support that I always have said that was necessary and the government's given it. 
with uh, all of your PLIs, uh, the cell chemistry and the auto components and the support, the industry is actually, if you have played your cards right, you are actually going to be able to thrive without the subsidy in two years time. Okay. So, I, I do not see a reason why the subsidy uh, should continue over two years. But till now, most of the electric uh, segment has been uh, dominated by scooters. That yeah. is shifting a bit because other brands have also yeah. mentioned that they want to enter the motorcycle, EV motorcycle industry. So, what is your take on that? Uh, electric motorcycle compared to electric scooter because you are coming as a sole electric motorcycle brand. So, if you look at India's market, about a third of the market is scooters and two thirds is motorcycles. Yeah, for ice. For ice. Yeah. And that, that is natural human behavior, right? I mean, we are just changing the way propulsion is working. We are not really changing the form factors, the vehicles operation and the use cases are exactly the same. That essentially means that, uh, if I were to put it in a different way, if last year a million uh, electric scooters were sold, there was a inherent demand of 2 million electric motorcycles which went unserved. There's, there's one way of looking at it. Okay. And, and again, India runs on motorcycles. I mean, your larger wheelbases, larger wheels, the inherent ability to go off-road. I mean, motorcycles more are stable, the more SUVs also. of the two-wheeler world, yeah. right? So, with that, motorcycles are going to be mainstay. They are going to, it's a necessity. It's not a want, it's a necessity. Okay. And that's where this is a space where there's so much unmet demand today. I mean, it's, it's not going to be one player takes it all. Hmm. Okay, Mol. And my last question is, in terms of the platform, the 5000 is ready. Yeah. Are you going to go above or you're planning something much more affordable? Because most of the manufacturers that we are witnessing right now are going for a new platform, trying to get the pricing a bit down for their scooters. What's your take for the matter era 5000 so going up or going for, down for us uh, we've been very clear again for the longest time we will always be operating under 200 cc okay and era is close to that mark and from here the journey goes towards mass market okay. for us that trajectory has always been very clear uh, we, we would love to have had uh, the business model work for the high-end performance, but unfortunately for us, it just did not make sense enough to go in that direction. Okay. So, any timeline for the kind of a mass market motorcycle? Uh, mass market motorcycle will is going to be about a few years out. Okay. And but you are going to see a few other um, variants of the same platform coming out uh, in the next uh, twelve odd months. Okay. Okay. Fine. Thank you for your time. Done. Looks very exciting in terms of your journey. And Thank you. Uh, Congratulations on this new exciting journey for Matter and you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.